Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to explore a virtual map with Google Earth. It's for Windows PC and Mac and iPad and Android tablets. And the subject is computing and it's for children ages 7 to 9. To do this lesson, of course, you're going to need Google Earth. I'm using the one for PC. Uh, this Here is the link for iPad and this is the link for the Android. Now, it's also a good idea to have uh, some 3D buildings so that you might like to study or another geography topic to study. The lesson concepts are to use search technologies effectively, so of course looking at how to search maps effectively and also to combine software to achieve different goals. In this case we're going to look at different parts of the map and cut them and then crop the images and then paste them on a document. Now, the easy activities are to take a screenshot of a 3D building and then write a sentence about it in a word processing document or anywhere, on a blog, on a website, but I'll just show you on a Google document. So we go to Google Earth and we just search for a 3D building. They're not in all of the cities, but uh, in Sydney, in Australia, there's, they've got the Sydney Opera House, so I'll just search for that and it should zoom in slowly to there. The, the first thing you'll notice is that it's not a very good view so we can use the tools over here and uh, to look and then when I hold the mouse down we can drag it around and the one at the side over here spins around so I can do that and then I need to look a bit more sideways like that you can see the city have a bridge in the background and the opera house is looking much better I'm just going to go down a bit more and drag with the mouse all right, so when the children are ready to take a photo of it, they actually want to take off the layer of places because it looks a bit ugly. So uh, this one over here, I'll just zoom up so you can see that a bit more in places. So turn that off and maybe even borders and labels too, depending on what you're after. All right, so I'm going to zoom in a bit more and I'm going to have the text there as well. So when they're finished and ready to take a screenshot, they just need to do print screen or if they're on a tablet, they need to um, hold, usually like hold two of the buttons down at the same time, but depending on which tablet you're using. And then you need to go to a different app to paste it somewhere. In this case, I'm going to go to paint and paste. So that's it. And we can use the zoom tool down the bottom here, 100%. I want to zoom out, oh, not that much. Zoom out a little bit, and then I can select a rectangle to select just the part I want. So I'll hold down the mouse and then select that and then I go up to here. I'll just zoom in so you can see. Crop. Okay, so once they've got the file, I need to save it of course, so it's ready to save in a different place. Opera House. And the PNG image file type is okay for this purpose. Save. Right, once uh, save the image, we can go to a Google document and then go to insert image. And then choose the image and then we'll go to the image that we've just got. Okay, so now we have the Opera House. We can just start to write a sentence about the Opera House and we can also uh, we'll go to some more buildings as well for 3D buildings tool. Right, a medium activity to do is to take a screenshot of the same area before and after, and that's using a historical imagery layer. And this is only for PC though, you can't do this on tablets. So to do that, you need to find a place in the world where you know it's changed a lot, and uh, a really good example of that is, of course, Dubai, where they've built a lot of land out into the ocean. So let's have a look at Dubai. And there it is. And then I'll go up to this one here. This is historical imagery. Just zoom up again so you can see this one, like a clock and then turning back the, the clock. All right, so I've gone back to 2001 in this photo. And I can see that there's a bit patchy. There's not that much satellite image around um, to see. But for that, I can go to print screen and then go back to paint and then go to paste. Then crop the photo, select a rectangle, the same process as before. Right, taking care to try to take a, a photo of the same place. Go to crop and then save crop. And then one more, we're sliding it up. 
Okay, so that's the end of the medium activity. So I've seen uh, the bottom of Bahrain here, or an example of what I did when uh, I was teaching year four class this. This is Dubai, this is the sort of thing they did. I just got them to write a sentence, change the font and colors, what it looked like in 2005, uh, 2015, and up here, 2001, where there's hardly any construction out in the ocean. All right, so next one, uh, to have a challenge activity, they can use the Wikipedia research layer, uh, that's common to the system on the tablets and on the PC, and then there's many, many other layers on the PC, which I'll, I'll quickly show you some of. So um, we're going down to layers, and then we can go down to, uh, you can turn the 3D buildings off, it will, you'll find it will load faster if you do that. Okay, so we can go down to here and global awareness. There's many, many layers that, that you can do. You can you archive endangered species is a good one for a science topic. And uh, you can click more. There's many. So if you go down to here, Wikipedia, I'll just zoom up and show you that one. All right, so you can do that. And then it suddenly becomes a geography research tool. If I just click on the little W, and then it just pulls it from Wikipedia. Just make sure you remind the children that anybody can edit Wikipedia. So the information that which is contained on the site may not necessarily be true. It's normally pretty good, but uh, some things can be just made up. So we've got nice images of the history of Dubai, and they can really go and take this text and use it to write a report back in um, Google Docs or whichever word processing software you're using. So they should get a lot out of uh, this activity. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides to use in this tutorial, visit letslearncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Colwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.